I have been waiting for this moment for quite some time. Turku Jermunchen is now officially the worst team in Germany on FIFA 22. Scrolling down the league table, you might be able to find Turkuju at the bottom, but the funny thing is after 34 games that they had played, this season has basically been called null and void. The financial situation that the club has ruined it. And I'm telling you right now, man, that mentality that they have in Turkey of not play paying players and being financially in ruins and constantly taking out loans to pay players and bringing in everyone but not actually paying anyone that has happened here as well from what i know and now they are gonna be going down maybe even multiple divisions due to the extended time that we had with this team on this channel with the running career mode that we had people loved it now people are asking for me to rebuild it one last time before it is wiped off fifa for a very very long time and probably to never come back again. Turku Jermunchen, this is your last ride. <laughs> Say hello and also at the same time, goodbye to this team. We do have a bunch of players here, but honestly, lads, none of these will be here by the end of it unless I can somehow dynamic potential my way to greatness with one of these. But let's see if the Youth Academy has something to offer. We need a leader in this squad and we might have just gotten him. Dennis Maya, 17-year-old, 70-rated, take us to the promised land pal that is my man five star skills four star week foot he is going to be the captain so i just only now realized that all these players that you're seeing here these actually don't exist anymore so what ea has done they have gone ahead and replaced all these players they've gotten rid of them was this like this all the time i don't think it was the goalkeeper of uh this squad is currently Folat, Flukiga, or Wagner, and there is none of them in this team. So EA has already gone out of their way and replaced all these players. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see what we can pull off. What? We only had two million to spend in this chance window, my friends, and we have done the right thing. We brought in a center back for Middlesbrough. Also, since we are in the third division, we cannot buy any players from the top divisions. They're not willing to relo relocate because they're too spoiled. Uh, we have Wood come in. We have Popa as a goalkeeper come in. I believe he is Romanian coming in as a Romanian goalkeeper there. That's going to be nice. And Yaya coming in for that CDM position, using players for swap deals, obviously. And on top of it, Poizo coming in as the right back. So now the team is looking like this. Maya is leading the line. Of course, he should be the captain of this team. Then we have the likes of uh, Ndiaye taking over CDM position, which I'm excited about. Wood takes over center back. Poizo on right back and Popa on that goalkeeping position. This is the team that's going to take us into the end of the season. No more transfers, no more cash. Let's go. Mid-January, I wanted to make one more signing. Joao Grimaldo now coming into the team as well. The center attacking midfielder I've replaced. So Grimaldo comes in, 73 pace. Comes in from the likes of Peru. There are some interesting talents over there in Peru. Uh, but I have seen that most of them don't necessarily have high potential. Do better, EA. Grimaldo coming in. Very excited about this one. Let's see how that one goes. First season is over, finally. Let me take a look. Oh, what? Promotion playoffs? Really? Oh, wow. We came in third. Only two points to... Not two points. Actually, a better goal difference to the guaranteed promotion. We missed out big time right there, boys. That is very unfortunate. By the way, if you were ever wondering what I'm doing while I'm recording these rebuilds and stuff, normally I watch like football matches and stuff. But right now I'm watching Dr. Disrespect and I got to say, man. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy is just legit the most entertaining streamer out, streamer out there. Anyways, individual performances. Meyer, 75. Grimaldo, 65. Plus one, I believe. And even some of the other lads here, the no-names, are looking to grow. A lot of them are young, by the way, which is nice. NDIA, 66. Wood, 67. Poiso with a plus three. Popper up to a 67. Just generally really, really good team there. I like that. And Meyer, you better be scoring loads. 12 and 6. The new center attacking midfielder has taken over immediately. Joao Grimaldo comes in and does a madness. The Peruvian has taken over and I love to see it. I'm all here for it. The question is, do we actually go up? 
here come the playoffs. First season, longer end to the season than I personally expected. But boys, this could be huge. I personally would prefer to stay here. And it's, what is it now? 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two. Are we out or no? I think we're out. I think we're out of it, boys. We haven't made it, which is actually nice it's nice as we step into the new season we have around let's say 20k in a wage budget around 4 million to spend and a good thing is that we can swap out some of these players that have no faces that are generated players for actual players that's the one thing i want to do i want to get rid of every single one that doesn't have a face i am about to fall asleep because i just spent so much time trying to get this sorted man my god the entire budget is gone the players are gone the no faces are gone cornelis from vitesse coming in opegard from psv eindhoven Starzinski, he has star in his name how am i not supposed to take him into the squad then i've also brought in diambu from red bull salzburg so that is an interesting one and infantino taking over the right midfield position finally a player that actually smiles on his picture but that is now the entire team filled up with players that are actually real now we can go ham take a look at the transfer window right here and you'll be able to see that we did bring in some of these players for swap deals and some of them for straight cash but also we have let go a couple of our players for decent amounts as well which obviously was necessary for us to go ahead and make these signings. So after all, no more money left to spend. That is going to be needed for the wages. But generally speaking, one more thing that I need to point out, we did actually get promoted. I just had no idea. So I completely forgot that in Germany, the whole playoff thing is not necessarily like you play one game semifinals and then the next one is the final. And then if you win that one, you go through. It's actually different. It's just the two teams playing against each other and we had two draws. So at the end of it, probably a penalty shootout or something. And we did go through. It just didn't pop up there. So we are actually in the second Bundesliga, which means we will have to do really well right here. And we have to rely a lot on these youngsters to keep on improving. Otherwise, this is going to be a tough season in Bundesliga 2. Man, one thing I can tell you right now. Dealing with the contracts with this team is a madness. Everyone has a release clause. Everyone is unhappy within like two months. I don't know what's going on. These guys are very spoiled. But you can see a couple of wins right here in May 2023 as we finish. And we do end up in a sixth position in the league, which is something I didn't expect, but something I love to see. We are rebuilding the worst team in Germany to actually compete now. Maya up to an 80 rating. Grimaldo potential to be special now one thing i need to point out i'm so excited about that one starzinski with the 70 rating there infantino 72 diambu and indiaia around the 70s Opegard 70 72 right there poiso with the 67 he definitely needs to do better otherwise we'll have to replace him Papado, the goalkeeper, very important for him to go up. And Cornelis has done well as well. The bench is still good enough for what we have going on right now. And the top performer this season, I'd be surprised if it isn't the striker. It is the striker. And then the midfielders are coming in right there. Quite surprising to see the center back get two goals there for himself as well, which is quite good. But this was way better than I expected it to be. The boys have done an incredible job. And now with the next season money, I need to sort out contracts. I've been struggling. It has been hard, but maybe we can also make at least one or two signings, depending on, of course, the budget we get. But we survived Bundesliga 2. Here's the deal for this new season in Bundesliga 2. First of all, I need to adjust this budget massively because I just keep on having to deal with the wages and it really is tough. So we're going to adjust it like that. That means we have around 8 million to spend. Ideally, I need to bring in a right back because the center back is going to get get past the, uh, the 70, I believe. And I think genuinely that's the only spot. And a 70 rated right back at this stage could cost nearly our entire budget if he's talented. The deal is in. Lawrence coming in. English right back. Decent amount of pace. Good defending. Good physicality. 70 rated. So that's a plus three immediately. Has me excited now. And I think that team genuinely should be competing for promotion. Do I want promotion into the Bundesliga already? I don't know. If I do, I might have to sell Meyer. 
cash in and improve the team unless the budget we get is going to be good oh baby i'm telling you this season has been good and it has been first place in the second bundesliga guaranteed promotion about to get smacked by Bayern munich borussia dortmund leverkusen all these incredible teams up there ah uh, it was fun while it lasted this was enjoyable now the part comes where we're gonna get smacked but but i have to say we have at least two players who have potential to be special in maya and grimaldo right now i have a lot of faith in these guys pulling us through starzinski up to a 75 and yaya and diambu doing well infantino looking good lawrence has gone up nicely wood cornelis and opegard looking solid and Popa up to a 78 which is amazing so technically I really just need to improve that center back position. That is the lowest rated position we have. And then you would have to look at CDM and right back. But ideally, that position right there. Of course, getting into the top division should give us some good cash. Normally in like the Premier League and stuff, it does. Look at that. Maya and Grimaldo, both the players with the most potential, have done incredibly well this season. And our left back has had some season right there. 18 goal contributions from left back Opegaard. Well done, buddy. That is incredible. So now we go into the new season, having dealt with the wages and with a lot of fire in our bellies for Bundesliga action. Let's get it. Mate, easy. We do not have to sell our striker. We can keep a hold of him. Look at that budget right there. 40 milliones. Oh, I'm ready for this. This is going to be fun. It is done. We have brought in two players and the other ones actually remain in the team. We are building backups. Yes, something your boy Johnny has not done often enough, early enough. Let me put it that way as well. Monchu coming into the team to play as a center midfielder. The guy has incredible qualities here. Never heard of him, which excites me even more. Every time I find a player that I never heard of, it just makes me so happy to put them into these squads. And the same goes for Vasquez. Two ratings above Cornelis. A Mexican centre-back slash left-back coming in. Left-footed to play left centre-back in our team. Six foot one tall. High defensive work rate from Mexico. This is the transfer window done. I cannot believe what I've seen this season, guys. We have won so many games and we finished third. There is no way. <laughs> Mate, this makes absolutely no sense. Let's be honest with each other. The fact that this team is getting Champions League football is a joke. I think we have a good team. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the striker up to an 89. He's incredible. Infantino, 82. Papa, 82. But like, what? I had to sell the center back backup, by the way. I had no more money to uh, improve the wages of the players. Again, wages having to deal with it constantly. But like this team qualified for Champions League football. It makes me proud. But at the same time, it leaves a big question mark in my head. Now... The good thing is a lot of money coming in. So your boy can go ahead and spend a bunch on big transfers. All right. I'm excited for it. You should be too. Now, what we do is uh, we're going to go into the developments here. Maya on 23 and 8. Infantino on 14 and 12. Grimaldo on 10 and 4. Did I say developments? Stats. Uh, Montru has done well for himself. Starzinki needs to step it up. Obegard once again with a great season. And just generally incredible that we have managed to push ourselves into that third position. Top scorer is our boy. I might have won the league, but we have the top scorer ahead of Haaland, Gakpo, Musiala. I love that list of players. Oh, I have nothing against Champions League money. You should know that. But I'm going to adjust the budget once again. 61 million to spend. Where do we go with it? I like the team of the attack. I maybe want to get a new left midfielder. I like you, Starzinski. He's only 21. Nah, we're going to give him time. And Diaye is looking all right. He's not looking amazing. He is the lowest rated player in the team. Hmm, maybe a new CDM? Maybe even a... Nah, not a new center back. No, no. Maybe a new CDM. That's the position. Let's, let's spend big. Let's get someone massive. Instead of just one big signing, which is a plus two upgrade in Felipe Mendes, a player I've never used before. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Incredible stats on the kid. I'm excited to have him in the squad. We have also brought in Patrick Wimmer, a very talented player that is going to be joining Wolfsburg next season. Currently plays at Bielefeld and looks very exciting. I'm very much looking forward to seeing 
how good this guy will be in the future. Four star, four star. Going to be turning him to a left midfielder. And then we're good to go for the season, lads. I am excited. So excited! Let's see if we have qualified for Champions League football again. But you can tell in May 2026, my friends, we are nowhere near the Champions League final. We have been beaten by Manchester City in the round of 16, which is fair. But we do qualify as the second place team in the Bundesliga one more time. That is very nice to see. So it wasn't actually a fluke. I don't know how this team pulled it off. But now, after that incredible season last year, dynamic potential is kicked in beautifully. And the boys are looking great. Grimaldo, 88. Vima up to an 84. Mendes, 83. Monchu, 83. Infantino up to an 87. Lawrence up to the 82. Wood, 83. Vasquez, 82. Opegard has gone up. And Popa as well. And even the boys on the bench, or the guy on the bench that we have, is doing somewhat decent. Meyer, of course, the main man with 34 goal contributions. But the rest of the team has... Uh, something to be proud of as well. Grimaldo, Monchu and Vima with great seasons. Infantino, decent as well. Generally speaking, a very, very good year and very successful year for the club. I do feel like, though, that our attack is getting very good, but defense is not able to catch up yet. The midfield, the CDMs, the center backs, the right back. There are a few things that we can definitely improve with a few transfers coming in and then pushing some of these players down onto the bench. Obviously, all depends on the budget, but I do see progress. Oh, buddy, 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 are you ready for this? 116 million to spend. I'm sorry, pal. Some of you are going down onto the bench. I had to bring him in. I needed someone to dominate that midfield. Genduzi is here and Serginho Dest. Two big players now joining the team and the bench is looking better now. Monchu, Diambu, Lawrence all now on the bench. We definitely need some attacking options on the bench, uh, but I can tell you this much. Options are no options right now because we have absolutely no money left. So probably one of the guys off the bench I'll have to sell. Or I do the smart thing. I sell Meyer and I use the cash to bring in a striker and have some money left over and bring in some backups. That would genuinely be the smart thing to do. And you know what? As the coach of this club, I'm not doing it. I'm dumb. So I'm not selling him. This did not just happen. <laughs> Go on, lads. Look at this. We have gotten past AS Roma round of 16. AC Milan quarterfinals. Manchester United in the semifinals was 5-1 on aggregate. And now we're up against Manchester City in the Champions League final. I didn't think it was going to be this season. I thought next season we would be in here and battling for it. But we have pulled off this incredible thing called Champions League final. So where did we finish in the league though? How did the Bundesliga season go? We came in third. Wow. That is somewhat disappointing. We conceded a lot of, a lot of goals, which shows we are just not that good at the back. In the attack... 94, 92, 87, 89. That is a Champions League final worthy team for sure. Genduzi up to the 88. I love that. Mendes up to the 86. Opegaard 87. Vasquez 85. Wood 86. That defense again. Statistically, gameplay wise, incredible. Great pace, great defending on both of them. That defender right there looks incredible as well. Dest is obviously uh, ridiculously fun to use. And then we have Popa with the 88 rating. That is good enough. But the bench, we only have three players, really. And the attackers can barely get subbed off. So congratulations for them, uh, to them. So go ahead and get that season done. Meyer with the 34 and 2. Grimaldo 19 and 14. And Genduzi the new man, 14 and 7. Well, guys, it all worked out in the end. It might not be the highest rated team, but it might be. That team with the fire in its belly. They know this club is going to be extinct in the next FIFA. So we are having one last hurrah in this Champions League final. And here it comes, my friends. Turkuju against Manchester City. I'm excited to see how certain players play. And one thing I want to check out before we go in. Five star, five star, five star, five star. Five star, uh, weak foot, no skill moves on Vima. That's interesting. Five star, five star on Infantino, Genduzi, and all the rest don't really have skills. Okay, let's keep that in mind and let's do well here. Manchester City coming up with a strong lineup. 
And I want to see what this team is capable of pulling off here. Patrick Vimma running down the wing immediately. Stopping. Doesn't have the five-star skills. Let's keep that in mind. Grimaldo inside. Maya. Maya. Not the best turn. I'll take it, though. Decent little attack to this game. One more. One more. Bang. Gendusi. Oh, good start. Gendusi again. Yes, Kessia doesn't win that. Mendes, can you shoot? I thought that was in. Okay, I can tell you one thing straight away. I do have the pace disadvantage here. Manchester City feels much quicker than my team. And pace is a big factor when you play against the AI. You need that pace to get past them. And agility and pace-wise, we are struggling. And that comes from a lot of these players still being so low rated. That is definitely an issue. Genduzi, great run by Genduzi. Stops, brings it back. Maya, Genduzi, Grimaldo. Oh my God, this is football. Oh my God, we just ruined them. Down the middle, pass, 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 finish. Incredible, the captain has scored. Come on. What is that for an attack, my friends? Take a look at the precision on every single pass. Bang, 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 and into the top roof. That is just a beauty. Great steal by Obergaard. Good interception into the center. Grimaldo, Grimaldo, now pushing on. Grimaldo sees Genduzi. Genduzi. Oh, this is this was beautiful, but hey, the defenders are actually paying attention. Well done. Mine. Yes. Inside. Come on. Maya, just shoot. What are you doing? Down to Genduzi. Great position to shoot. Deflection and in. Deflection and in, my friends. I personally feel like deflections don't happen enough on this game. The deflections that actually hit the target, generally speaking in football, it happens all the freaking time, but you never have it on FIFA. And that right there is something very realistic. Take a look at that shot from Genduzi. Badly controlled by the defenders. Skriniar with the own goal technically there. Goalkeeper beaten. Ederson on the floor. Guardiola crying. Oh my God. Oh my God, did you see that counter-attack right there? The movement, the passing, the beauty of Genduzi striking it from 40 yards. No, maybe not. Let's go. Oh, no, that's not a good pass. I don't know why I just slide tackled there. Man City making a... Whoa, Phil Foden. Okay, I need to stop that attack immediately. There we go. Now we have space. Ah, he's holding on to my player, man. Ref. Dest making a run. Serginho. Great pass inside. Grimaldo. Why is he passing it back? What? Why am I saying it like he did it himself? I did it. That was just dumb. Yes, up the guard. Inside. Lovely. I see that run. Patrick Vimmer. Patrick Vimmer. Go on, son. Whoop. Pass. And the skill move. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Stunning football. It would have been such a nice one to score. Oh, look at that. That is just incredible work from this team. Patrick Wimmer. Look at that run. Look at the pass. The finish on top. No, I'm not going to shoot. I'm going to do this and beat you. No, I couldn't. I just kicked him in his face. I don't like this. I don't like it when there is so much space. Give in to these attackers. What a save, lad. Oh, you're getting a raise in your wages, mate. Offside trap. No, <laughs> that was stupid. Please keep a let's go, mate. I honestly thought he was about to pass it, but the AI was like, what are you doing? <laughs> that was literally their reaction there. You could tell he just continued to run through. Luckily... It kind of threw it off, and it, he didn't take the shot there early enough, I should say. Oh my word, what a ball that is. Here goes Grimaldo. Grimaldo! Put that trophy into Maya's hands now. And we will put it into his hands. 3-0 in the Champions League final. Turkuju is going extinct. The whole politics behind the club. Let's not talk about that. Let's just talk about the fact that we took the worst team of the Turkish, of the German divisions, and we managed to build them up 
to be the best in the world. This was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you on the next rebuild. Leave your ideas down below. Smash that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Take care and peace.